Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Libra's monthly overview for April 2021. In this message, we are first going to tap into the energies here with the Psychic Tarot deck. We'll get a little bit deeper into the message with the traditional deck. Okay. Clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. I will also pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward. In this message, we are going to uncover the overall energy surrounding you this month, Libra. What's working in your favor? What's challenging you? And the next steps moving forward. So let's see here, Libra, what we can see for you guys. Again, I'll clarify as well as pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Okay. Nine of Wands. The Magician. Overall energy, Libra, is the High Priestess. Intuition in this deck. It's working in your favor is the Six of Swords challenging you is the three of wands outcome it's the truth this is judgment it's hidden here libra nine of swords so what we see here is an energy of suffering feel like you're really up in your head about a situation here, whether to stay, whether to go, whether to make this work or whether to pursue this connection or whether to walk away completely. I do feel a little bit of an indecisive energy coming through here, Libra. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the energies here. Center this a little better. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here for free personal readings, extended versions, it's all linked below in the description box. And Libra, if you like the vibe or how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. I'm going to get a little bit deeper into these energies here, Libra, but I feel here what's working in your favor is you're ready to move forward. Okay, and even if this is a deep connection... Maybe you've known this person for a long time. There's a need here to put yourself first. Some of you may have multiple options, okay? There's more, more than one option that you have available to you, but obviously your mind is set more on one person than another. Clarifying this, <laughs> clarifying the spiritual strength, the awareness piece. So you have the hanged man, the chariot. Stay or go, wait or move forward. You see how there's a very conflicted energy coming out here, Libra. Okay. Clarifying this high priestess. Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, stay or go. Stay or go energy here. What I feel here you need to do, Libra, is focus on what brings you happiness, what makes you feel uplifted in the present moment, not a vision of what you imagine in your mind things should be like or could be like. But currently, presently, if you have multiple options, which path makes you feel more uplifted and less stressed? 
okay? There is a need here to get back to that vision, get back to that long, those long-term goals, those long-term plans, and really analyze, you know, maybe one person is better suited for the future, but things just aren't working, things just aren't coming together. And maybe with another person, it seems like it may be more difficult to get in alignment with this person, but things are just moving moving ahead. Take that into consideration. Okay, one person is ready to move things forward and the other isn't. So one is present, current, in the current moment, and one is futuristic, futuristic planning. What's challenging you here, Libra, is I feel like one of these options, most likely the one that you have your heart set on, has already walked away. And maybe coming to a term of acceptance is going to be key moving forward, okay? I feel here in energy, Libra, you don't want to start something new. Anything new? There's, there's, I feel here your heart is set on something, whether this is a job opportunity, a career or a person. Um, I feel like that opportunity isn't, isn't in alignment with you at this time. What you need to do is maybe get back to the drawing board and reevaluate. I do feel here, Libra, there is a need to kind of Take that focus back and put it on yourself. What makes you feel the most up uplifted? So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward in this situation. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you find this message has been helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading here, Libra. In the extended version, we'll take a little bit deeper look into your person's energy. See if there's anything that there's hidden that you need to be made aware of. Let that come to the forefront of the reading. Also take a look at what their intentions are moving forward. Outcome if the advice is followed. Any other information that you may need will all come out in the extended version. The links are all going to be below. Okay. So Libra, we'll also pull out a few different oracle cards, blessing cards, all that fun stuff in the extended links are below. Temperance, Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot. In this deck, if you look, the Chariot is at a crossroad. This way or that. Which is very interesting. It goes right along with the reading here, Libra. I feel like you're being called to focus on what brings in balance. What brings in stability? What makes you feel stable? What makes you feel solid? What makes you feel, feel secure? A lot of times I feel there's a lot of people out there that have this vision of love and that it should be exhilarating and get your heart pumping. And But really, those are all key signs of anxiety and stress and worry. So if you're feeling those types of energies around a person, there is a need to question. Okay. Question. Why is your heart racing when you talk to this person, when you're around this person, why don't you feel more calm more secure? Ask yourself, pay attention to your energies, Libra, don't just pay attention to a vision or the person. Pay attention to how you're feeling around that person. 
but there is a need here to make a decision libra and i feel like the decision that's going to be best suited is the one that makes you feel the most stable and secure with yourself so let's pull the soul journey message out for you guys thank you guys again for all the love and support you are all amazing discipline i can accomplish what i set my mind to your soul has a goal but it has also chosen to incarnate in a world of distractions earth is a dimension of obstacles and challenges but you have been given discipline as your birthright it is time to remind yourself that your soul has come back to this planet to learn. This is a great opportunity to reevaluate your priorities and go about your daily tasks with a new system of managing your life. Instead of being the passive recipient of whatever comes your way, distractions can easily get us off the work of our soul. And if we give in to this apathetic impulse, we can miss many well-placed and pre-planned teachings needed for our inherent growth. Learning that the satisfaction of a task completed is more emotionally rewarding than a task delayed. So Libra, this is something that is calling your attention. You're needing to pay attention here. You're needing to make a decision. And the longer you put this off, the longer it's, the longer it's going to take, but the more off the beaten path you're going to be. So Libra, do you have a decision to make? You're at a crossroads. There's several indicators here of needing to make a decision. Just making sure you choose the right path here is what I feel like you're focusing on. And what you really should focus on is those feelings, how you feel, how you feel. So Libra, four truths coming out for you guys for this message. Be impeccable with your word. Enjoy heaven on earth. Impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance. You can attain the kingdom of heaven from this one agreement. Be impeccable with your word. Beautiful, beautiful. So Libra, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so, so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.